Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn the differences between the test plan and test strategy. This is very frequently asked questions, uh, question in interviews and many people get confused when they have to explain the differences between test plan and test strategy and when a test strategy is lit written, how is test plan related to test strategy, all these things you will be able to understand by end of this tutorial. So let's see what is test strategy and test plan. I have explained uh, the details about the test plan and test strategy in the previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched those, watch those because I'll be completely discussing about the differences between the test strategy and test plan in this tutorial and how both of these documents are related and what is the uh, key difference between test plan and test strategy. So going back to the whiteboard here, so I have written down some of the key points that you can explain to the interviewer when somebody asks about the differences between test plan and strategy and how they are basically related. So test plan, if we talk about it is defined at the project level. So test plan is at the project level. However, test strategy is at the organization level. I'll give you an example. So rather than reading out all these, you know, points, so when somebody asks about the strategy or the test strategy, it is mostly defined at the organization level. What this means is this is the document or test strategy is the document which is defined at the organization level. So for example, hypothetically, I'll take uh, an example of an organization. Say for example, I'll take IBM. IBM is an organization very big organization when we talk about the test strategy document for an organization it is defined or it is a document which is defined at the org level okay now there won't be just one strategy uh, for the whole organization as such because ibm is a huge organization right so there can be multiple uh, verticals within organization there will be software vertical there will be services vertical so depending on the uh, the the number of people or the number of projects within that organization uh, if they are sort of related then that vertical can have one strategy or one test strategy and what usually goes into the test strategy document is what sort of testing how the testing will be approached what tools will be used what test management tools will be used how the defects will be tracked so all those general details of testing go into the test strategy document which in turn which in turn say for example there is a vertical so in in this organization so i'll say ibm there will be multiple n number of projects right so there will be multiple projects and when these projects will start testing or these projects will approach testing what they'll do is they'll refer to the test strategy that is at the org level and they'll refer what all test management tools they can use what, how the defect should be tracked what all test artifacts need to be produced etc right so this test strategy is important to make a common uh, understanding or define a common understanding across the organization so that any project that is being you know uh, introduced within that particular vertical organization follows the same strategy follows uh, or uses the same set of tools that are defined in the strategy and follows you know similar practices around the testing and the defect management now there will be some modification within the test plan so test plan will be at the project level and test plan will refer to this test strategy right so when it, the test plan is written it is very specific to the project now within this test plan you will have the details about the project and how you will approach testing within the project but you will take the key information from the strategy document test strategy document and then elaborate all those details within the test plan as per the project right because your test strategy will define you need to use this tool this is the defect management process these are the artifacts that you should usually produce okay so all that common information is defined at the test strategy level why this is helpful is basically now when you have this common understanding across the project 
all the projects will mostly use similar set of tools, similar processes, and this will reduce the complexities of managing multiple test management tools, multiple defect management processes. And that is the whole point of having a common strategy across the organization or if the organization is really, really big. For example, in this case, I have taken an example of IBM. There can be multiple verticals or in IBM, there can be hundreds of verticals within IBM. So there could be hundreds of test strategies across those verticals, but then there will be a common test strategy across the org level as well, right? So it is a common understa understanding or common documentation of the processes, the tools, how the testing will be approached, the artifacts that need to be generated, that will be defined at the strategy level. When it comes down to the project level, projects refine this strategy as per the project and that is where the test plan come in picture and the test plan will have more detail about the project along with the details from the test strategy. So this is basically how the test strategy is written, what is the relevance of test strategy and how the test strategy is related to test plan, right? So this is an example of it. Um, I thought I'll explain this because just reading out these points won't, you know, help you in the interview. So this is very important to understand. Now let's go back to the differences here or the common, common things within test plan and test strategy. So as I've already explained, test strategy is defined at the organization level. Test plan is defined at the project level, which will have more details of the project specific information. But this test plan will have the information defined at the test strategy at the org level and elaborate that as per the project. Okay. Now, the second point is basically the strategy is a vision. So when we talk about the test strategy it tackles the question why so why the testing needs to be done in a particular way why you want to uh, you know follow a particular defect management process within the organization so that why question or why part is basically answered in the test strategy because maybe your organization is more into medical equipment testing right so when you write a st test strategy for the medical equipment testing, then that strategy will tackle why you are testing the, uh, why you are performing the test process in a particular way for a medical equipment that is different from the internet um, applications or e-commerce application, right? So strategy is a vision. It tackles the question why and the test plan is the plan or the action plan how you will do the testing for a particular project so these are the two differences between strategy and plan so it, why and how so how you are going to approach testing is defined into the test plan then test strategy doesn't change very frequently so once the test strategy is defined at the organization level it is not going to change very frequently. However, the test plan can change frequently based on the input. So usually test plan, when you start writing test plan, the first, you know, you write the draft version, then you refine it as you get more information with the, from the project, you get more detail and you refine and keep changing the plan um, as per the project progresses. But test strategy is defined at the org, org level and it doesn't change very frequently. It does change if required, but it doesn't change very frequently. Then the fourth point is basically define, uh, test strategy defines general test approach at the organization level, which we have already understood with the diagram. So there is a general test approach, what all general you know tools need to be used, how the defect management process will be, what artifacts need to be produced, once the testing is finished or during the testing, all that general information goes into the test strategy. When we talk about the test plan, it defines the test approach at the project level. So test plan is more of a approach at the project level. Then uh, the test plan, the next point is it deals with the project level test coverage, the scheduling, how the testing will sh be scheduled, what resources will be utilized, hardware, software, who will be doing testing, what will be the timeline, all of that thing needs to go into the test plan the, because these are the detailed um, scheduling, etc. that goes into the test plan. 
But when we talk about the test strategy, it deals with the test objective, general test approach, what testing tools, reporting, etc., artifacts that need to be produced at the organization level. Um, then this uh, the last point is basically test plan if your organization is very small and you have just one or two projects you don't need to define test strategy and test plan separately for the overall organization say for example your organization is just you know one or two projects what you do is within the test plan itself you will have the test strategy right but in the big organizations test strategy is usually defined at a separate level there is a common test strategy and then the projects within that organization will take information from the test strategy and elaborate it into the test plan all right so that is the key difference between the test strategy and test plan and how the test strategy is related to test plan these both documents are important if your organization um, wants to define them separately because test strategy will be very specific or a very uh, common across uh, it will be a common document across all the project and then when project wants to start writing the test plan they'll refer to the test strategy and get information from test strategy document and elaborate the details within the test plan as per the project but they'll get a common understanding around what artifacts they need to produce how they need to approach testing what tools they need to use etc from the strategy document itself all right so i hope this video will be helpful and will help you to understand the differences between test strategy and test plan and explain these differences very clearly to the interviewer so if you um, get all these details and you are able to draw the diagram and explain these differences to the interviewer you will definitely be able to clear and uh, make an impression that you actually know what is the difference between the strategy test strategy and test plan within an organization so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching